So, as you can see here, it was a cold and pouring day. And we were going to film people on the opera house roof. It's just grey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but still, people were there. Why? What makes a place a good place for people? Wow. Wow, I'm sure there's more PhDs written about that theme, so it's kind of a big theme, but hmm, how can we lift this structure to be that extra? That sometimes it's even hard to explain. Why is this such a good place? Why does people feel comfortable here? It's not just a building. It's always a site and a context. Or it can also be the people that are there. It could be almost anything. If we manage to create that extra, then it's really how we like architecture to actually move us as people. The way the school is built allows us to like move around and sit wherever we want. I think we learn better because but when we walk around and can sit where we will, I think we get more energy. It's uh, built of a massive tree and it's um, I found people to be more kind of calm. 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 Vi ser jo at alle elevene har blitt mye roligere å være her. Det var gjort undersøkelser som viser at elevene har mye færre pulsslag i løpet av en skoledag ved å være i et trebygg i forhold til et stål- og betongbygg. Så det er adskillig snillere å ha med å gjøre. I den siste skolen var det stående nærmest alle steder. Og jeg var veldig angry hele tiden. Men nå er jeg mye bedre. Det har rett og slett blitt mye snillere av å være her. times I came I remember just parking the car and thinking I was in the wrong place how can there be an art museum here and then you kind of stroll down and then suddenly you're struck by this wonderful art institution in the middle of the Norwegian nature I, I definitely think it's just a much, much less formal interaction with art I think um, people are moving more freely in the space and historically galleries can be a little bit imposing um, whereas here at Schisterfoss people can be out in nature taking a stroll in the forest and then happening upon wonderful international level works of art and then also suddenly they see the twist as well which is this unique architectural masterpiece. I'm a farmer and Christine is a physiotherapist and we just started with something we didn't know how to do. Oh, yeah. uh, we are running this as a couple and of course we, has, we built this together now for the last 17 years and I, of course it's, sometimes can be really hard but I think we have managed really good. Yeah. Uh, we live in this area, uh, we live on the farm below and the farm has been in the Frodo's family since the 1600s I think. And we wanted to preserve the, the landscape that we're in. We wanted to open up this area and use so that people could actually come here and see the beautiful view that we see every day. Not today? Not today, because today the fog is really thick below us. We are a cultural landscape hotel and it does not want to stick out. Like to be a part of it, not to be a, like a, something just put there, but it's actually has been growing out of this, this hillside. I, I visited Huxen when I was a little kid and uh, when it was a ghost town. Most of the buildings were falling apart and 
And I've always been fascinated, and I always said, we need to go, we have to go to Nixon. So when the opportunity came that I could move here, I just said, let's go. So we just started by cleaning the house, and then, yeah, it became this, <laughs> this place. <laughs> It's like coming home to your grandmother. Like the smell and, and the sound, like just to go back in time. And the idea is that artists can come and stay for longer periods and do some creative work. Yeah, just, to, just a place for people to get together. And yeah, mm. good drinks. <laughs> <laughs> What's really unique, uh, I think, is uh, the combination of this extremely dense um, urban situation, but situated in a so raw and brutal nature. In the past, Nixon was a really thriving fishing village, but there was very little space on these two small islands to build. And when you needed new functions, it was just jammed inside the same space. In the old days, you had so many boats coming in and they needed more space for hand handling the fish. Actually, we have two levels of the keys. Nice for small boats coming in and not so nice for big people. <laughs> but the biggest resource with the place is actually the, this energy that can give you what support if you want to work creative. You get something from the nature and you get something from still being actually safe in the, in the middle of this. Although sometimes the sea really tries to take over. <laughs> when I first started working here in 2010, I met a boy who was so tired of being in a hospital. So when I met him, he was lying with his blanket over his head. And his father kind of wanted to excuse his behavior and he said, I think it's because he just wants to be outside. He's so tired of being in this hospital. And then I said, maybe we should just go outside. And there was a nod from under the blanket. So we went outside into the forest and I could see how everything changed for him. How he suddenly started to get color in his cheeks and smile and talk and look around and feel like a yeah, normal boy. After realizing the effect this had had on this boy, I started to bring more patients out into nature. And on one of the trips, I met the father of a patient and we started to talk together uh, about the idea of making a place close to the hospital to have a small cabin or a room in nature would make a huge difference. We have... Uh... En data, jeg hadde en data som het Sonja, eh, yeah. som din søster. Som da hun var eh, seks måneder, så blev hun syk. Yeah. Eh. Det var ganske rart å sitte inne på et hvitt rom nesten hele dagen. Jeg skulle ønske at jeg kunne lekt mer med vennene mine, og så hadde vi ikke så mye lekerom her. Eller noe sånt. Man savner hver dag inn, man savner rutinene sine, man savner venner, man savner bikkja si, man savner huset sitt. Og så ser vi verdien av et sted sånn som dette her. Fordi det her er det nærmeste vi tidvis klarte å komme hjem. Some patients, they spend so much time inside the hospital. It's kind of part of their life and others don't have that much life left to live. Uh, but for every person, it's the same. It's like we have this minute, we are here now, and we need to make this time good. So then to be allowed to be in a nice place, to feel you know, well together with the people you love, that's so important. building? Is it a landscape? Is it an object? Is it a sculpture? It's not so easy, but you really feel it. You don't need to know a lot of theory to feel 
you come to a place where you feel, wow, this is a good place.